Hey guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we want to write a summation that represents the value of the variable sum in terms of the variable n for the following code segment. And here we have the code segment in our green rectangle and it says sum equals zero. And then we have our first for loop that says i equals one. And it's going to run while i is less than or equal to n times n and the i is going to increment by one each time. And then within that loop, we have a second for loop that runs from j equals 1. It's going to run while j is less than or equal to i, and then j is going to increment by 1 each time. And then within that loop, we have our third for loop, which runs from k equals 1, and it's going to run while k is less than or equal to 6, and then k is going to increment by 1 each time. And then we have our variable called sum, and right here we have sum plus plus, so sum is going to equal um, sum plus 1. So sum is just going to equal, increment by 1 each time. So let's rewrite the for loops as a summation to solve for sum. So sum is going to equal the summation from i equals 1, because that's our first for loop, to n times n, which is just n squared. And then within that for loop, we have our second for loop. So we're going to have a second summation here. And the second summation is going to run from j equals 1 all the way to i and then within that uh, second for loop we have a third for loop so we're going to have a third summation here and that third summation is going to run from k equals 1 to 6 of 1 all right so let's go ahead and simplify this so now we're going to get the summation from i equals 1 to n squared, and then within there we're going to get the summation from j equals 1 to i, and that, that's n squared. Let me make sure I write that a little bit better. Yeah, not much better, but uh, you guys get the gist. That's n squared. Okay, this just becomes 6, that third summation, because of the formula. Right, the summation from i equals 1 to 6 um, of 1 is just equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So it's just adding that 1 value 6 times. All right. Okay. And actually, the formula no matter what that value at the top is, let's say it's some arbitrary value, it's going to always equal that arbitrary value in. So this is what um, that summation formula that we could use for our third summation here. All right, so I'm just going to erase this. So that's how I got the 6. And so let's simplify this a little bit more now. So now we're going to get the summation from i equals 1 to n squared. And I'm going to pull out that 6 here. So we have times 6. Uh, I'm going to erase this. So times 6. And then we have that inner for loop uh, right here, which is now the summation from j equals 1 of i of 1. So what does that equal? Well, we just now, I just now showed you guys the formula. Um, this is going to equal whatever that top variable is. So now we get 6 times the summation from i equals 1 to n squared of i. So our second for loop just became i. All right, and then I'll simplify this even more. And we get... 6 times n squared times n squared plus 1 divided by 2. And you may say, well, hold on here. How did you know that um, this summation here is equal to this formula here? And um, yeah, it's, it's actually just another formula. And I'm going to write it here, put a little note. The summation from i equals 1 to n of i is equal to n times 
n plus 1 divided by 2. So all I had to do was substitute that n up here for our n squared, and that's how I got this formula over here. Okay? All right, so let's continue here. So now we're just going to get, um, I'm going to do a lot of simplifying here, actually. 3, well, no, no, I'll just write it all out. 3n squared times n squared plus 1, because I just divided this, the 6 by 2. And then we're going to get 3n to the 4th plus 3n squared. And this is what sum will equal. And if you want to know what this is in big O notation, this is big O of n to the power of 4. All right, so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have, um, likes, comments. Let me know if I made any mistakes. Don't forget to subscribe. I have more videos on algorithm analysis that you guys can... Uh, watch if you uh, want to want to learn some more about this stuff um, it's in my playlist algorithm analysis so thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next video